Hi, I'm Noel, a uh, psychotherapist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I've got a slightly hoarse throat as I've got the beginnings of a cold, I think. Um, but I'm well enough to this video. Please do subscribe while you're here, either on the YouTube channel or via my website. Have a look at the blue link above. Click on that. You can enter your email details. A uh, very brief video to go with the blog today on um, the sort of brain processes, the neurological processes that might be going on in counselling and psychotherapy. People often ask what the scientific basis is. There's, there's lots of research and there's lots more to, still to be done. But in terms of the brain, it's very important to understand what's going on. And there are some central concepts which I'm just going to take you through first. Um, a lot called neuroplasticity. That's the idea that we can form new networks in our brain. Uh, and those new networks happen through practicing something over and over again, particularly something new. Um, and then what happens if you think of the sort of uh, the brain cells as these the circles in my finger. And then the ends of the brain cells have these little tree-like extensions, which are called dendrites, you don't really need to know that. They don't actually touch, but they send uh, neurochemical signals between them. So between the gap, there's a neurochemical signal. Um, so when you do something, when you have an action, a thought, a movement, a relationship, um, signals are fired between the two of them. Hopefully what you're trying to do with the ones that you want, focusing down, and I'll come back to focusing in a minute, is creating networks around positive emotions, positive relational experiences by practicing them. So you can do that in the, in the therapy you practice, new ways of being. Uh, and then what happens is by repeatedly doing something over a period of time, you create um, some, um, you create wiring if you like. It's a bit like, um, if you look at this wire inside here, it's copper wire strands of copper wire that are sort of just twisted together. But around it is the plastic, and that's what you're trying to do is coat the neurons, which are effectively the copper wire in your brain, the wiring in your brain, with the plastic coating, which is fatty acids. You don't really need to know that. Um, but those fatty acids, once they build around, once they wrap around these networks, they're fairly permanent, really. So that's the, the basis of how a new relationship, a new relationship in your brain is mapped there. So the relationship between you and me becomes mapped in your brain through these neural pathways. Um, there's also a thing called neurogenesis, which is the creation of new brain cells, which happens anytime, particularly if you're physically doing something, because the brain is designed for movement, literally. But also you can do it through thinking if you're in new situations, and hopefully that's what the therapy does, is it creates a new situation for you, which then produces new brain cells. And then neuroplasticity means that you can hardwire those new cells and those new experiences into your brain, move you away from negative to positive. This focus uh, is very important. Focusing, um, under, yeah, focusing your attention is so. What happens when you when you're having an experience? Your um, the brain cells, the ends of the brain cells, the dendrites fire everywhere randomly. Uh, but you can actually focus that um, to create uh, stronger sort of um, networks to enhance the neuroplasticity, the wiring taking place. Uh, and, and that's what you do with the therapist. Hopefully that's what the therapist does is attend to what this, you're saying and doing and then bring your attention to it, help you focus in on that so that you focus in on the positives, um, the new um, relationship between you and the therapist that you're trying to achieve in the world out there. So again, this process is focusing down, um, zeroing in on the types of neural networks that you, that you need. Once those neural networks are built, they're, they're hardwired like this. The wiring is there and um, the chemical signals in your brain will go down this a lot more easily. Um, and then thinking about strengths and positives that I've just talked about, but also understanding it, the role of emotion in the therapy. So um, negative emotion produce, goes to a certain part of the brain called the amygdala. Positive emotion goes to the frontal cortex and other bits of the brain. Um, with the therapy, you should try and focus on that positive um, frontal cortex. And the frontal cortex is really this bit here, your forehead, uh, inside your brain, is where your personality is, or the higher functioning, all your language is up here, memory and all that sort of stuff. The amygdala is an old bit of the brain which regulates negative emotions and fear, fight, flight, freeze, that sort of stuff. So by moving away from that into this higher functioning, the therapist focuses this growth up here in your personality. 
Um, so those are some of the sort of basic processes that should or hopefully are going on between you and your therapist. Have a look in the blog. I've explained them a little bit more um, scientifically, if you like, but I've been trying to communicate these ideas to you. Essentially, what we're trying to do is a number of processes. Um, rewire into a positive relationship, a positive way of thinking and teaching techniques for focusing away from the negative into the positive and becoming more intentional. And by doing that repeatedly over a period of time, it becomes wired into your brain so that that becomes your new habit rather than the old you, which has had more negative ways of functioning. I hope that's um, understandable. Do get in touch if you um, need any help with any issues in your life. Um, for today, I want to leave you with this saying that for today, I can work on changing myself and changing myself relatively permanently for the positive. So for today, I can work on changing myself for the positive relatively permanently. Thanks very much.